All right, welcome back. Well, no insider buying on this Friday. There are blackouts during earnings season. So today, you get a bonus RBI. And today's most random and interesting thing is about the pandemic and productivity and how the American work economy has changed so dramatically for millions of folks who are lucky enough or able to work from home. And it's important to remember that. As much attention as work from home gets, it is still probably only about 20% of the American workforce. But that is still enough to make some insanely big changes to things like productivity and the use of capital. Goldman Sachs out with a note saying the changes to the American workforce and business model may be bigger than you ever imagined. Look at these numbers. Goldman says that this shift in how we work has resulted in 600 million fewer hours commuting every month. That is 7.2 billion commuting hours gotten back every year because people are trading jobs up for a better ones. There may be a need for nearly one and a half million jobs and things like cashiers, in-person store sales, people in office maintenance staff, they go away as more people move up in the workforce. And when you work from home, no doubt you've got a lot of computing power. And Goldman Sachs says that could equal 300 billion in consumer IT equipment. And get this, an incredible 900 billion worth of home offices now set up for business use. In other words, the stuff that your company would buy, now you're buying. Think about the implications of that. Even if it doesn't last forever, companies can have huge savings on things like real estate. They don't have to buy as much IT gear because now you've got it at home. And you are saving hundreds on gasoline or commuter train or bus fares and getting hundreds of hours of your life back. Does that sound like a win-win to you? It probably does. And maybe, just maybe, corporate America might reluctantly agree to it as well. We'll see. Some big numbers. Hopefully random, but interesting.